evening guys and happy Thursday to all of your sunshiny faces. So guys, we ended up having something come up today that caused us to not entirely be able to go to the grocery store. Although when it came up, we would have still been able to have gone because the thing that was actually planned for today didn't end up happening. <laughs> long story guys um we could have went to the grocery stores today but i spent so much time today going over every like little detail of my grocery lists um and so we are going to meyer on saturday that is already established we are going to do walgreens valley produce and caputo's tomorrow i have got actually a lot of deals going on this week not actually a huge ton at jewel jewel's probably going to be a kind of small haul um but like caputo's actually had a lot of deals that were going on um and because they had like a two-week sale and like a separate flyer and then they had another like just their normal like weekly flyer so a lot of their actual two-week sales they actually had some good stuff that was going on and then like valley produce didn't have a huge ton of stuff that was going on but they did have some pretty good deals on produce things um and so like i said there was just like generally like a lot of good deals going on this week at the stores um and then again Meyer. So Meyer had actually some good sales that were going on and because the sales end on Saturday, we're going to go most likely like on the way back possibly from after Matthew's um like uh like tugs competition um or like because my dad has to work but he like I should probably be done honestly like around the time I get up. Like he'll probably be back home like maybe 9 10 o'clock something like that 11 o'clock. And then Matthew's tugs is at 3. So we might even be able to go in between that time um but we can still even go afterwards as well just if we're just gonna do Meyer. um and so i only think i have three like one dollar m perks like the coupons um so i'm not super like if i'm like oh my gosh i don't know how to do this or whatever so i actually did like read up on it a little bit because i do have a like you know, I looked up the frequently asked questions about like how to do it and everything. Um, and so they, you can use like, you can scan your barcode like they give you like at Target. Um, or you can punch in your code, but then you also have to punch your pin in. And I'm just scared that I will forget that part. Like it's not just like the normal phone number that you put in at Jewel. You also have to have a pin. Um, and so I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm going to feel, I feel like I'm going to forget that. So I want to just like use the barcode to scan so that I don't have to remember to do like the pin which again I don't feel like it's going to be that difficult to remember or anything but anyways I'm just gonna like I said try and do that first and you know start with that and again if it doesn't wind up working or if I'm like oh this is like jewel where I have to make sure that I give the computer enough time to process it and all that stuff um Matthew says that he uses his at the um <clears throat> like the self-checkout that he's like never checked out like you know from like a checker or whatever so I was like so you don't know what to do like you know um if you give it to them like at the beginning or the end if the coupons still come off and stuff like that um so you know like I said normally we go to like we have somebody check us out instead of going through like the self-checkout <clears throat> just because honestly like especially because we buy a lot of produce. <laughs> I don't like looking, having to look up like, okay, this is tomatoes. Okay, they're plum tomatoes. Okay, oh my goodness. Like, you know, they're not organic. <laughs> you know, like having to look up that whole thing is just really tough. So, um, like it's sometimes easy if they have the sticker on there because you can either, sometimes that you can scan the sticker and sometimes it has the number on there so you can just punch the number in yourself. Um, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, are, aren't produce codes universal for all groceries? grocery stores like because that's what I started noticing I was like oh were these like from Valley Produce or Caputo's and I was like oh they say plum tomatoes and I looked at another bag that I had another like one left of the plum tomatoes I was like oh yeah these were from the ones I bought at Valley Produce last week and they were the same code so I think that they actually are I didn't know that because I like I said I've never worked at like grocery <laughs> grocery checkouts um you know or anything like that so I don't know but I'm sort of thinking that they are they might have some numbers that are possibly a little different like based on each store but I think that like I said for the most parts you know those are like the same I think I don't totally know but anyways um so uh I guess it depends on each store and like their codes and stuff like that but normally like again if you look the stickers they will have them like the same 
for you know other stores as well like for example like apples too like you know if you buy granny smith apples at one store and you bought them in another store as well like the t the stickers are still sometimes the same and so i'm like so that means the codes have to be the same too because they just have little codes on the stickers anyways um just something super observant that i probably i don't know if it's like super common knowledge or like nobody else really even knew that either um anyways though i forgot where i was going with all of that um but yeah, oh, oh, about Meyer. So um, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm just gonna go and again, hopefully everything works, but if not, I'm, I don't have to be super upset because it is just $3 worth of coupons that again, if they don't come off, it's not like life or death where I've got like, oh, $10 worth of stuff that didn't wind up working. Um, so again, you know, if it doesn't, it's not that big of a deal. And what you can do too is that I don't think it works for the coupons, but if you do have a receipt that you didn't um, like submit your um, M perks for, you can after the fact. So like if you didn't put your phone number in during the transaction or whatever, or you know gave them the barcode to scan, you can actually upload your receipt or scan it or something like that um, post shopping trip. But again, I don't think that they would like credit your account for like the dollars off coupons that you would have gotten off in the transaction, if that at all makes sense. But I think it does count because like I think every hundred dollars you spend you get a five dollars like off your next grocery purchase and so um like I said in that case you know you can have like if you had spent fifty dollars in a grocery you know haul or whatever and it didn't wind up you know you forgot to put your number in you can actually upload that receipt post shopping trip so that you can still get that fifty dollars to count towards the hundred dollars that you need to get the five dollar off coupon i think that's what it is um but i think that's like the m perks portion of it then there's like the coupon portion but i don't think that that works the same so like i said i just need to make sure that that works but it's like some stores too like aren't used to like having you scan the thing like um a lot of times now like target's sort of doing it more where you put the number in you know your phone number um but i'm still so used to just giving them my phone to scan that like I don't even really pay attention to like punching it in on the keypad or whatever so um like I said I like you know I don't know if like now if they're starting to like sort of phase that out and more people are doing it that way so now it's like you know weird because the same thing too I think at family dollar that happened where the lady was like oh I didn't even know that like you could scan the barcode or whatever like you know it's like your card um she's like I just always tell people to put their phone number in because I was gonna have her scan my my you know thing and the lady right in front of me tried to do it and then she's like you can just put your phone number and then it's registered under and she was like oh okay you know and she ended up doing it so anyways um like i said tomorrow will be walgreens valley produce and caputo's saturday we will stop in at meyer because that's the last day of the sale for the most part they have good sale uh, like sales that are going on so i want to take advantage of those and like i said i saw three um deals that were pretty good and there were coupons that were going to expire anyway the rest of them like there's no sale like specifically that's running this week with the coupon it's mostly just the normal price with a coupon that made it a good deal so i'm going to do those like next week so long as i get this all like i said to work and figured out and everything like that and if it does then i will wind up doing that um at you know like i said those other deals next week that i found but i just have three that i knew were expiring anyway like for this week that i wanted to do but then on sunday because again saturday we have other stuff going on we can't go early in the morning the grocery stores all that kind of stuff plus matthew's tugs thing um we're gonna just do meyer um so that, again i can get there before the sales end and then on sunday we will do um i will have jewel aldi and menards on sunday um so like i said i think that that is everything and then we should get to like a normal like back next week to like a normal um sort of thing i don't know my dad will let me know i guess at the beginning of the week what day will work best to go to meyer because we're going to try and go like monday tuesday or wednesday most likely um it depends on when he has to like something with his workout and he's like oh if i don't have like if he just has cardio day i don't know which day that is like he's like oh we can get that and go that way or if he doesn't have a workout that day or something it be better um so anyways i don't know i don't know entirely but we're gonna try and plan for my or one of those week days of the week and then on thursday it'll still be normal valley produce caputos and walgreens and then saturdays will be jewel aldi and menards as well so like i said that should be 
future going forward but i'm excited to try out meyer at least a little bit and then um because like i said i literally have shopped there maybe two or three times in my life <laughs> i really have not shopped there so i'm not totally familiar with like using their coupon system and all that kind of stuff um or even shopping at the stores at all um so again guys that is what i will have for you guys in the future but today guys do you see this i'm in short sleeves because it is hot outside yesterday we were freezing cold i had like four layers on standing out in the rain today it was like a beautiful 60 degrees and right now because i don't know why the house gets hotter at night and so um like our house is brick so i think it keeps all that heat in and all of a sudden at night i am just like i am roasting and like again i like had my t-shirt on all day today but i was wearing like a lightweight like sweatshirt sort of thing i was like i need to take this off it is too hot for that so um yeah i'm in a i'm in a t-shirt today because like i said that is how warm it is out and it's dramatically different from today and yesterday like i said where i was like i'm freezing cold i can't believe it is this cold outside to today where i am in a t-shirt also too guys my eye is finally feeling better it is really not bothering me at all it just sort of feels like a little sore i don't know if you guys can notice it honestly this eye almost looks as bad as this eye just because i feel like i have got like looks like i'd have gotten no sleep <laughs> um but this one is the one that i had that little like sty thing or whatever it is in it um like right in the corner it's like right here and um it was all super puffy yesterday it hurt to blink today the first like it felt the worst yesterday i think the first day it didn't feel like quite as bad today actually feels the best that it's felt out of the three days so far so i'm assuming that that means hopefully it is just about gone <laughs> um or at least like not bothering me at all because like unless i take like really like i'm squinting my eye or like really taking like deep blinks i guess <laughs> um that's when i notice it the most but like if i'm just like regular blinking like regular blinking yesterday was causing me major discomfort um today it's really not that bad um like it was a little bit in the morning but then by like the midday like you know wasn't quite as bad so i'm really thinking that hopefully this is just about gone and over with which would be lovely because i like i was telling you guys i read somewhere that it's supposed to take like four to seven days to go away and i was like oh my gosh i don't know if i could stand seven days of this but thankfully again tomorrow will be the fourth day so hopefully that's it i mean like it might not be completely like healed or whatever by you know like it takes seven days to completely heal but at least the discomfort hopefully will be gone by, by tomorrow um that would be lovely um so anyways yes that is like i think i don't think you can notice it that much it still looks a little bit red but again like nothing compared to like yesterday morning was when it looked really bad like probably the worst too that it had looked um and like it hurt to sleep yesterday and like even like last night and like yesterday night or yeah yesterday night the night before um it, it like hurt to sleep because like it wouldn't hurt if like i had my eye closed completely but like if i was was like blinking sort of like in my sleep not like blinking in my sleep but like if i was like moving my eye while my eyes were closed then it would hurt too so anyways i think i'm finally like i said finally turned the corner and that is not bothering me anymore because it's just been really really distracting me too like i'm like oh my gosh like you know every single time i'd look like in the corner of my eye like down here like i would be like oh my gosh like i feel like i'm like can't see like it was almost like double vision sometimes too and i was like this is so bothering me so finally that is over with um i did get like everything pretty much on my planner done for today i was so happy about that um also which was awesome so um edited and i did dishes and laundry and i also cleaned the bathroom because i didn't clean the bathroom on tuesday which normally i do i switched it to thursday um but i did get it done which i was happy about also too i just feel like the warm weather just makes me feel much more like yay want to get things done sort of stuff and like yesterday was just miserable i didn't after we came back too i was like i don't want to do anything but sleep <laughs> now and i couldn't because my eye hurt um and on top of that too i just felt miserable over that a little bit so um anyways guys i'm gonna take a shower now and get to bed i will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and i'll see y'all very soon Jenny faces tomorrow so bye guys